The Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, is one of the most quietly influential inventions of the last 30 years. While most people know it as the engine for video games, its true impact now powers everything from drug discovery and scientific research to the artificial intelligence that is reshaping our world. All of these fields share a common need, the ability to perform millions of repetitive calculations at the same time, a concept called massive parallel processing. But the GPU's most world-changing application has been to serve as the indispensable hardware of the AI revolution. Today, we're breaking down how this piece of gaming hardware became the engine of modern artificial intelligence. To understand why GPUs are the engine of the AI revolution, you first have to understand the fundamental difference in how they work compared to a computer's main processor, the CPU. Think of the CPU, or Central Processing Unit, as an executive chef. It has a handful of incredibly powerful and flexible cores, able to tackle any complex task you throw at it. From executing a tricky recipe without missing a detail to plating a masterful dish, one after another at high speed, this is sequential processing, and it's perfect for running your operating system or browsing the web, tasks that require diverse step-by-step -step logic. Now, think of the GPU, or graphics processing unit, as a massive army of thousands of simple line cooks. They can't perform complex recipes, but they can all follow the same simple instruction at the exact same time. So, for a repetitive task like chopping thousands of onions, the entire army works in parallel. This is massive parallel processing, a design principle known as SIMD, or single instruction, multiple data. This is the perfect design for AI, because at its core, training a neural network isn't one complex sequential task. It's millions of simple, repetitive calculations, mostly matrix multiplications, that can all be performed in parallel. It's the ultimate chop thousands of onions problem, and for that job, the army of parallel processors in a GPU will always outperform the sequential genius of a CPU. To see how this parallel processing happens, let's take a virtual tour of a modern AI GPU using an architecture like NVIDIA's Hopper as our blueprint. The main silicon chip itself is like a massive factory floor, and that factory is divided into powerful districts called streaming multiprocessors, or SMs. Inside each SM, you have two types of workers. First are the hundreds of general-purpose CUDA cores, our army of cooks doing the bulk of the calculations. But sitting alongside them are the tensor cores, which are the AI specialists. These are hyper-efficient, dedicated hardware units designed to do one thing and one thing only the exact matrix math that is the fundamental operation of AI. In the Hopper architecture, these are fourth-generation tensor cores that introduce new, faster data formats like FP8, which doubles processing speed and dramatically accelerates AI training and inference. This specialization at the hardware level is the key difference between a standard GPU and a modern AI accelerator. The AI revolution was kickstarted in 2012 by AlexNet trained on a pair of NVIDIA GTX 580S, a top-of-the-line gaming card of its day. Today, models are trained on purpose-built AI factories like the NVIDIA H200. In just over a decade, this leap represents 94 times more memory and over 2,000 times more AI performance. The secret to this exponential growth isn't simply more power, it's specialization. By creating dedicated hardware like tensor cores for the exact matrix math of AI, the industry has gone from repurposing gaming tools to engineering dedicated engines for intelligence.